Today we're starting 5.5, the quadratic formula. So far we know we've been dealing with ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero all chapter long. That's your quadratic equation. We can derive a formula from this by rearranging. Do you want me to prove where it comes from or just show you the formula? All right, so the quadratic function, the quadratic formula. If we have ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a is not equal to zero, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. If I were to have proved it and went through the equation and solved it by completing the square, I would have derived this. This formula you have to have memorized. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We're going to solve and find the exact and the approximate solutions to the nearest tenth. For 4x squared equals 8 minus 3x. The first thing I have to do is move everything over. Now this is where some of you made mistakes on your quiz yesterday. I just can't solve things the way they are. These two things have to be moved over. Or this one thing has to be moved over. One of the two. So if I move things over, I have 4x squared plus 3x minus 8 equals 0. So I have my x squared, my x, and my c. Just in order. Quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. A is 4, B is 3, and C is, bless you, C is negative 8. All I'm going to do is substitute negative, what's my B? 3, plus or minus B squared, so what's 3, or B is 3, so 3 squared. Minus 4 times, what's my A? 4. What's my C? Negative 8. Okay, take the square root over. All over 2 times, what's my A? 4. All I have done is taken this formula and substitute in A, B, and C. Now I'm going to go through and do the math negative 3 plus or minus the square root of, all right, what's 2 times 8? Or 2 times 4, sorry, 8. i got to find this number here. 3 squared is 9. What's a negative 4 times a 4? Negative 16. Negative 16 times a negative is a positive. 16 times 8. Well, 8 times 10 is 80, Four, er, 6 times 8 is 48, put it together I get 128. So 9 plus 128. What's 9 plus 128? 137. Do I know the square root of 137? No. This is your exact answer. If you were to solve this by completing the square, you would have had negative 3 eighths plus or minus the square root of 137 over 8. You would have had the same exact answer. I'm going to show you how to do the approximate answers. I'm going to take this and type it in the calculator. Now the one thing I have to be careful about is when I put it in the calculator, the top has to be in parentheses. Negative 3 plus, I can't do plus or minus in the calculator, square root 137. 
closes the square root, closes the top, divided by 8. So the first approximate answer to the nearest tenth, which is one decimal place, is 1.1. 1 .1. The calculator can't do plus or minus. So I did the plus, now I have to go do the minus. Instead of retyping everything, second, enter brings the last step back. Just go back and change the plus to minus. The other, other approximate answer is negative 1.8. This is the exact answer. This is the approximate answer. No. I'm just showing you how to do both. This one I prefer the most. I want you to try this problem. x squared plus 10x minus 24 equals 0. x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. That is the formula. There's very little thinking to do here. It's just plug in the numbers and chug out the answer. That's a, that's b, that's C. Negative, what's B? Bless you. 10. Plus or minus square root, what's B? 10 squared minus 4, what's A? 1. What's C? Negative 24. All over 2 times, what's A? 1. All I've done is substitute in. Some of you made the mistake in substituting in the wrong numbers. Yep. Negative 10 plus or minus the square root of something all over what's 2 times 1. 2. To find out what this something is. Notice everything is being divided by 2, not just the square root. What's 10 squared? 100. What's a negative 4 times 1? times negative 24. 96. Positive 96. Negative times a negative is a positive. So I have 100 plus 96 is 196. Few people made your mistakes by you lost a negative. The, base, the basic math is going to kill you. Do I know the square root of 196? 14. So I have negative 10 plus or minus 14 all over 2. From this, I've got to simplify it. If you leave it like this, it's not correct. You leave it like this, it's not correct. I have negative 10 plus 14 over 2. What's negative 10 plus 14? 4. What's 4 divided by 2? 2. Negative 10 minus 14 divided by 2. Negative 24 divided by 2 is negative 12. These are my solutions. It's not about being difficult. It's about being careful. The quadratic formula takes a lot of little work. But it's easier work. I could have solved this problem a lot faster. I could have looked right off the bat and said, okay, 24, 1, 24, 2, 12, 3, 8, 4, and 6. The signs are different, so I have to subtract. Or so I have to subtract and get a 10. It has to be here. Positive 12, negative 2. My answers are negative 12 and 2. What do you notice about that method? It's faster, but you had to think. I could have used completing the square. If I were to complete the square, I'm still going to get the same answer. You need to try to factor first if you can. That makes the problem faster. It's easier to do that way. Then, do you want to complete the square? I know a lot of people always avoid it when it's not necessary. And then you have the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula never fails. Try this one. Going through this problem, 
x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Yes, the formula is long, but all you have to do is just put in numbers. Negative 6 plus or minus square root 6 squared minus 4 times by negative 3 times by negative 9 all over 2 times negative 3. Negative 6 all over negative 6. Plus or minus the square root of... All right, 6 squared, 36. Negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. Positive 12 times negative 9. Negative 108. 36 minus 108, negative 72. If you did not think, and you just typed it straight into your calculator, it gives you an error. Why? You can't take the square root of a negative number. A square root means that number times itself twice equals that. Positive times positive is a positive. Negative times negative is a positive. You can't get a negative. Today, the answer is no solution. Next section, I'm going to show you how to solve square roots of negative numbers. Yeah, I can't. I got the square root of a negative number. No solution. There is a way to solve square roots of negative numbers. I'm going to show you that next section. Now, quadratic formula does more than just find me my zeros. I can use the quadratic formula to find the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is x equals negative b over 2a. Now, if I look at this, what's an AOS? Okay, what is an axis of symmetry? What does that mean, though? What does the axis of symmetry really do? It cuts the parabola in half. I have negative b over 2a. That comes from the beginning of this. All right? So it's really this. If I had this function, if I had this, we already got from the last problem. This right here is going to be negative 6 over negative 6. We got it from over here. If anyone's wondering where it came from. Negative b over 2a. Negative 6 over 2 times negative 3. What's negative 6 over negative 6? 1. The AOS is 1. Now, I could put this in the calculator and find out everything. Because the AOS is 1, I can take this 1 and put it into this function. Negative 3, 1 squared, plus 6 times 1, minus 9. Well, 1 squared and 1, negative 3, plus 6, minus 9. Negative 3 plus 6, 3. What's 3 and negative 9? Negative 6. So my vertex is 1, negative 6. Last section I said you had to complete the square, use that to put it into vertex form, then find the vertex in the AOS. By knowing the quadratic formula, all you do is take negative b over 2a. That tells you your AOS. Take that number, put it into the function, it tells you your vertex. Yeah. You can use this for your older stuff. But you, now you have a better understanding of what the vertex form meant. This is where you get the vertex from. If I graph this one, whoops. If I graph this one, why aren't you working? There it is. Negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. And I graph it. It's down here. That is a maximum point. Second trace, maximum, I'll just say 0, 
and 5. It says my vertex is 1 point blah, 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 blah. So it's just 1, comma, negative 6, which is what we got here. Questions on this? We could go back. Let's look at this one. Find the AOS and the vertex for this problem. To find the AOS, all I'm going to do is take negative B over 2A. Negative, what's my B? 8. What's my A? 2. Doesn't have to be in perfect order. I just need to know A is attached to the X squared, B is attached to the X. So 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. The AOS is x equals 2. Because the AOS is negative 2, that's negative 2. Take this negative 2 and put it into here. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the calculator for something. If I take negative 2 and I store it into x, negative 2, the store button is next to the 1, and then I press X. It just says, neg it just says negative 2. But now if I type 19 plus 2X squared plus 8X, what I've told the calculator here, put the number negative 2 and make that equal to X. So whenever I type X, my answer is 11. Okay, I'll go through. Negative 2, the store button is right next to the 1. Then I just pick my variable, x. So here, if I just type x, it tells me it's negative 2. All I've done is stored the number negative 2 into x. It makes it a lot easier so I don't have to keep retyping negative 2 over and over again. How do, you don't need to unstore it. Because the default setting, like if I said... V. What number is probably going to be stored in for V? Zero. The default setting for any letter is zero. I can use any letter I want. If I wanted... Well, I don't want to use O. W. All right, W right there. It's going to tell me it's zero. But I can always store negative 2 stored into W. Now W is negative 2. I just usually use X because it's one button. Hit it right there. I don't have to hit alpha to get to the green letters. Any questions on this section?